Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very different video from what I normally do, but I decided that since you guys liked my iOS 14 customization video so much, that I would do a Mac customization video. So I don't know if you guys were aware or not, but a brand new Mac update has been released to the public now. It is called Mac, I think it's Mac OS 11, or it's also called the Big Sur update. Basically, it gives you guys a lot more personalization options for your MacBook. So I thought I would quickly go through like what the new features are that I'm looking forward to, and also how I'm going to customize my MacBook with the new update. So if you guys like these like little tech customization videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe down below. I have a lot more exciting videos coming in the future. So. With that being said, let's go ahead and get right on into it. So you can see that I have it all ready here to start the installation of it. So what I did is I went to the little Apple here, you would go to System Preferences, you can see it says One Update right here, and then you will go to Software Update, it'll pop up right here, and then you just click on it, and then Upgrade. Okay, so now let's start the installation of Bit, it's called Mac OS Big Sur. So we're gonna go to Continue. I'm going to go to agree, agree, continue, continue, and we're going to log in with my password. Okay, it's beginning to install, so I'm going to go plug this up to my charger and let it install, and I will be back when it's all installed and ready for the next steps. Okay, so while that's downloading on my computer, I wanted to quickly talk about like what MacBooks are compatible with it. So I will leave a screenshot right up here what laptops are compatible with this update. But other than that, I wanted to quickly talk about like how exactly you can download it because I've had some of my friends ask me a couple questions saying that they don't see the update. So I'm going to quickly explain that while mine is like installing right now. So if you don't see it in your system preferences, like on the main dashboard, a gear thing, and it'll say like one next to it, and it'll say like software update right underneath it. So if you don't see that, don't worry, I have another way for you to download it. You can literally just go to your like app store in your MacBook and type in Big Sur, and it'll come up as like Mac OS Big Sur update, and you'll just literally download it from there. I thought I would quickly like pop in here and mention that while mine is still installing. Because one of my friends was asking me how she could download it because she didn't see like the software update in her dashboard for the system preferences. So that is probably honestly the easiest way to download it is just go to the app store and type in Mac Big Sur and it'll come up. So back to waiting for mine to install. I have like 30 minutes left I think. So I will see you when it is all installed. Okay, it just finished updating you guys as you can see right up here, it's all up to date. So now let's start messing around with it. So I'm going to quickly like show you the control center. So basically you can see this little icon right here is the control center. So you can adjust the display right here, which is so cool. Adjust the sound right here. And I'm also going to go ahead and put Do Not Disturb on. If you click on it, you can see you have a bunch of different options of when, really like the duration of Do Not Disturb. So I'm gonna put it on until this evening because I don't really want any distractions during this video. And also, with the control center right here, what you can do, if you have like something that's like super important to you, like you're always accessing it, something like that, look at what you can do, okay? You can literally just click and drag it and it'll come right up here to like your little toolbar up here. Like, I'm sorry, but that is so freaking cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop, what else should I drop over there? Um, hmm. We'll do music. We'll go ahead and drop music up there because I do like to access that a lot. So you can see I have a bunch of little like icons up here and this is the battery percentage. So you can obviously switch that around too if you want to. And you can schedule power adapter, battery, and then usage history. So that's kind of cool. And now here's like some more of the control center. You can see that there's Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AirDrop. So you can obviously, if you click on it, you can customize any of that stuff. So you can do AirDrop, contacts only, everyone. And now you can also adjust your keyboard brightness in the control center. So you can have the keyboard really high or really dark. So that's pretty much all that I wanted to show you within like the control center. 
is that like it is like a little pop-up window now and you can also like drag anything up here to like your little toolbar which is really interesting so let's go to the notification center so you literally would just click on you click on like the date or you can click on the time and you can see right here are all of my notifications so to edit widgets and then I really don't use actually we'll keep screen time on there but like I don't use stock so I'm gonna take it off also I don't want the clock that big so if you don't want your clock that big I think you just right click on it and then you can make it a small widget so now you can see like the world clock honestly I really don't even want that on there but I am gonna add notes because I do like my notes on there oh yeah we'll add photos that's a lovely photo of myself I must say what else should we put but like, you can see you can add all of these and if you want to like go more in depth it was like all of these options um sure let's add reminders and that's it but now I don't want them all small like this and I don't want that one big so let's go ahead and right click and make the calendar a medium size so like now you can see I can see the entire layout for this month which is also really nice um that's not where I live but I'm just gonna let that be you can also drag and like rearrange them like that if you want to so I'm gonna add photos up here we'll add notes up here I want you like down here ah. if you want to make a widget bigger or smaller you just right click you do medium you can do large so we'll have like a giant like pop-up thing like that honestly I'm gonna leave it like that and then we'll do the weather we'll do like medium I was like is it not gonna change so you can basically customize your little notification center like that which is really interesting if you ask me I love the way that this looks like it's so cool and also like I think you can just like exit yeah so you can clear all your notifications if you want to but yeah i thought i would show you guys that really quickly that you can customize your notification center which is really cool in my opinion look at how cool the dock looks like can we talk about this it looks so cool also if you guys have a mac you'll notice that the launch pad is totally different it used to be like a little like rocket ship but now it's just like this little folder with a bunch of like different icons in it so that's also what really interesting messages and show you guys how you can reply to a single message and also how you can now use like me emojis and stuff like that so I'm literally just gonna make a message to myself <laughs> so here I am so you can reply to a single message by just holding down that message and then you just hit reply you could be like omg cool video me literally <laughs> and then also if you click on this little like app thing right here um no thank you if you click on this app thing right here you can see you can send photos me emoji stickers gifs and then also message effects so i'll show you guys quickly photos have always been like that i think but you can send a photo you could do me emoji stickers now so if you literally just click on the mouse it might take a minute and you can literally send it like that like that is so cool to me and then also if you go under gifs or gifs however you want to pronounce it you can send those as well which is so cool and love it and then if you just type it in and you can click on message effects you can send it with love balloons invisible ink confetti slam lasers loud celebration I mean you guys can see all of the options here so yeah we'll send it with a little heart and that's what it looks like so those are all the like new messaging things that the new iOS update has next I want to show you Safari because this is actually gonna be really cool so if you just open Safari you'll see that the layout looks very different than what it has in the past but the main thing that I want to talk about was first of all like this home page so it has my favorites, which these are not my favorites. I think they just are like standard to every like Mac. But also it gives you a privacy report. So you can see in the last seven days, Safari has prevented 45 trackers from profiling you. So um, that's kind of scary, but thank you Safari. Also it has a rating list here. I don't 
know why this is here, but I have a reading list and also this is all from my iPhone, which is so cool. I can literally just like have everything that I searched from my iPhone if I wanted to quickly switch it from my iPhone to my Mac. So, I thought that was really cool, but the main thing that I wanted to show you guys is at the bottom right hand corner right here. If you click on it, you can customize your homepage of Safari. This is like so big. Instead of having like this reading list here, I can just uncheck it and it won't be there. You can just literally take off the privacy report or add the privacy report, like whatever you want on here. So I'm gonna take off the reading list. I wanna take off serious suggestions. So that's a fun, cool little way you can customize your own home screen, but also you can add, oops, you can add a different background image. So if you literally just like keep scrolling through all of these, there are so many different options. And I don't know, I just think it's so interesting that you have like all of these little options. I think you can actually add your own too. Yes, you can literally add your own. Okay, so yes, you can literally add your own. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. So you can literally add your own like photo for this. I didn't even think you could add your own. I thought you had to pick from like Apple's like suggested ones. But now that I know you can like change it based on your own photos, like I, I am actually amazed. So that's really cool. You can literally pick your own background image for Safari. Like that is so much more aesthetically pleasing than like you're just being gray. Like that is so cool. Quickly, I wanna talk about Safari extensions. So I'm just gonna like close out Safari and you're gonna go to the app store. So if you just click on your app store and then go to discover, you can see all of the things that Big Sur now allows you to do. So you can see it level up your browser extensions that Safari you can like download a bunch of extensions onto Safari so here's a couple of them you can do Grammarly honey and Grammarly is like a, a grammar app and then honey is like a shopping assistant app so you have all of these you can literally just download your Mac that goes directly on to Safari so I thought that was really interesting Chrome has like those extensions now you have them for Safari which is really neat so I basically just wanted to like go over a couple of widget apps for you guys so that you can add these to your notification center or like your home screen. So you can actually play iPhone games on your computer now. So I'm gonna download just 2048 and we'll like, I'll show you how you can play that on here. Yeah, let's see what else we have here. So th there's like a bunch of games as you can see that are on your like iPhone, iPad, that now you can play on your MacBook. So I thought that was something worth mentioning because I feel like that's pretty interesting now that you can play all of these like on your computer instead of just on your iPhone. Okay, now we're going to customize our home screen. So you can see my home screen is literally a disaster. So I'm gonna go through this really fast and clean it up and then we'll get started. Now that it looks like a little more organized, I want to show you guys, first of all, how you can change your icons to look like this, like your little folders, to look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. But first, we're actually going to go to Julia K. Chris's website because I used her download in order to like get that little icon, so I'm just going to use the same thing again. Um, okay. She has literally like the best stuff, so I thought I would also just show you guys this anyway. So I'm just gonna use this one. So we're going to save image to download. So here it is, I just saved it as a download. And I'm going to double click on it. And then I think, you go to, is it Command A? Command A. And then I think, I think you do command C. Now I'm gonna go into more detail because I didn't think it would actually work. But since I copied this with control C, you literally just right click on whatever folder, go to get info, click on this little, like the little blue folder and then hit command V. And now all your icons are gonna be changed. 
So let me quickly go through this. As you can see, it looks a little bit better. I do want to show you guys how you can like play a game on here. So let's open up 2048. And it's like literally the exact same. Actually, how do you do it on here? I literally don't even know. How would you do it? New game? Okay, am I stupid? Like, how do you do this? I literally can't even get them to work. Oh, you just slide it, okay. Okay, so you literally just slide it over for like whatever way you want them to go. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so you can still play it. I was just being stupid, I guess. But yeah, so that's how that game works on here. The last tip that I wanted to share with you guys is AirPod switching. If you have AirPods and you're, say you're listening to it on your iPhone, but you want to switch to your laptop, instead of like disconnecting it and having to reconnect it and all that stuff, if you literally just start playing it from your laptop, it will like automatically switch over to your AirPods. Like that's so cool to me. It saves a lot of like time and effort, so that's another little trick for you guys. But there's supposed to be a way that you can add like widgets to your home screen, but every way that I've found hasn't worked out. So if I can find a way that actually works, I'll make a part two to this video. Or if you guys know, leave me a comment in the comments below and I'll make it like a part two. But I've been trying for like the past hour to figure out how I can add like the actual widgets on my home screen. Cause I know there's a way you can do it. I just literally for the life of me cannot figure it out. And I would rather get this video up with like the main tips than like just that, you know what I'm saying? So I do apologize that I could not figure out how to get the widgets onto your actual like desktop page, but you still have a lot of options customizing your widgets within like the notification center. That being said, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I have a lot of exciting videos coming up, including Vlogmas, which is right around the corner. And you don't want to miss Vlogmas because I feel like it's going to be so exciting and I have a lot of fun videos planned for that as well. So. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!